you're eating bricks? Yes. I'm going to eat them today. You look beautiful, Thank bro. you. Love you. I love you, Mike. You look good. Thank you. I love you, Mike. I'm going to your fight. I'd love to see you, brother. I'll be there. I'll be there. Thank you. Hey, I'm with you and
Real quick, Bernard, get your reaction. Overall, I know you have a, your smile is so ear to ear. Just what was your reaction when Ryan knocked down uh, Haney in the first round? My reaction is that it uh, looked like we are going to be out of here by three rounds, but uh, Ryan had to gather himself. And, you know, you know Ryan power is, is, you know, somehow can be questioned. I don't know how, but why, but I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, pleased that he got a chance to show the people who he is and, and prove what he's not. And sometimes you got to do it this way, and he's done it that way. And, you know, listen, um, the same way I'm talking now and after the fact, the same way I was talking before the fact. So I'm consistent, and that's important. I feel like the fight could have you know, been stopped early, you know, after the third, round, after the third knockdown. I, I feel like... Well, Thank you, Bernard. So whatever, wherever I feel like, I think that the way the way it ended and the way people got a chance to see what they had to see made it even better. But I think in the long run, it was more of a negative to Devin Haney, who might not have a long career. Uh, he took the punishment, so to me, it's more of a detrimental to him than 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 actually. Uh, Bad for Ryan. I think uh, uh, jumping into a rematch. I think the referee was very brave. Yeah, the referee kind of with, you know. with, with someone else's life, but mm -hmm. it ain't his. Ryan pulled the hell out of me and everybody else. Uh, he looked too strong, too big, and he started hurting Devin for the first round. Devin didn't just go in there and lay down, but Ryan definitely came to fight. And damn, I didn't expect to see no shit like that. It looked like Devin was getting hurt too bad to me. It was like, look, we know he wasn't gonna win this fight tonight. Let him live to fight on another day and take and take less damage. I mean, I thought the second and third knockdowns, the fight should have been done, but he was just taking a lot to me. Even though Ryan isn't as skilled as Devin, it was like he was still taking a lot and he wasn't the stronger man tonight. He wasn't hurting Ryan at all. What did Ryan prove? The unusual leap that he had. He comes up victorious, kicked out of the best game, Misses weight yesterday, but wins tonight. What's that say about Ryan Garcia? It shows that he know how to win. That's all I got to say about that. Like him coming in three pounds and not and not draining himself probably helped him tremendously. I think it helped him tremendously. Where does Kevin Haney go from here, bro? I think he needs to go up. I don't think that 140 is a good weight class for him. I think the weight cut probably was the problem. I don't know, but I've never seen Devin Haney look that weak before. And I'm not discrediting Ryan. You know. fight. Great fight. Um, amazing fight, actually. One, probably one of the best uh, fights that we've seen. In terms of, 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 of just emotion, you know? In terms of, of just the whole buildup and the hoopla. And it, it was a great fight. And, and what, I'm, what I'm proud of, actually, I have to say this, is that I got two young fighters in their prime inside one ring in New York and the world was watching. That never happens. So every fighter out there, every fighter out there, fight the young guys, fight, fight in your prime. That's when you become legendary. Ryan Garcia just became legendary tonight. Oscar, real quick, what impressed you the most about Ryan's performance tonight? I think his, uh, his will, yeah. his, his will to win. Haney, Haney is no joke. You, I saw Haney throwing bombs. Yeah. I've never seen Haney throw bombs in my life. Yeah. You know, we thought he was gonna come out and just, you know, combinations and pity pat, you know, the way, the, it, it works for him. Yeah. He's a beautiful boxer. But uh, the way Ryan Garcia with, withstood the, 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 the power, the, the, the pressure from Haney, the buildup, everything. I, I'm proud of Ryan. Did you, did you think that uh, Haney was kind of getting a little tired uh, after the first knockdown? Because I noticed when Ryan would turn and do the shoulder roll, you know, you know what it is? Haney would it's, just uh, swing it, and wear out. He was getting discouraged. He was getting discouraged. And that can wear you out as well, yeah. physically. Mentally, it can discourage you and it can get you tired. Yeah. And that's what was happening. I mean, Ryan's a big kid. Haney went up what? Weighed in 140, probably was 160. Yeah. So we had two big guys up there, you know. So 
The difference was Ryan Garcia is a punch. Oscar, Oscar talking about uh, round seven, man. The whole round was kind of uh, just a little crazy chaotic. round. Yeah, chaotic round, crazy round. But uh, hey, it's uh, it's boxing. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm, um, I feel accomplished like I did my job. Mm -hmm. and so this is really what my joy is. I'm going to be like this where I win and lose. But I feel accomplished because I did my job. So I'm happy. Do you, do you feel like, do you feel like, you know, you're not just you in general, but, you, you know, your back was against the wall with everything was going on with the social media, the antics. Do you feel like your back was against the wall? Now you just feel like this, I would prove it wrong. Yeah. Did you feel like? I mean, no, it's life, man. But it's okay because that's life, man. You can't expect you to be doing well in life if people not talking about you. The gameplay for Ryan coming in, it was a little bit awkward in there. He did some things that were very unusual. Talk to me about what you planned to do. Everybody make a left, please. About taking everything from him, taking away what he did. Once I saw that when Ryan walked the death and walked to him, he was treated. He was treated. He was treated. you made tonight. I mean, you, you know, people have been criticizing you this year. You're you know, trying to trigger a lot it's like this. I really can't care how people feel about me. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, they're not going to love me. That was an accident. They didn't, they'll say whatever they want to say. And I'm okay with that. Derry, to be fair, I, I this know, seemed like the that. least likely win of the, the streak that you had. How satisfying is it to get this particular win with everybody counted you and Ryan out? I mean, it's like man, for me to get to this level. I didn't come behind like a Hall of Famer trainer. I didn't come. I didn't. Nobody taught me anything. Nobody. I did. I did it myself. I pushed myself to this level. So I'm an underdog anyway. Even even now on on the level that I'm on, it's still counting me out. I mean, listen. If you look at pay per view boxing, who wasn't running it for the last ten years? My fight has been on Dale Jamel. Ryan, AJ, so what are they talking about? So it's like, we've been running it. So when people talk about it, like how did he win training of the year, do they really, they, 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 they're really not even understanding the situation. It's about success and this and that and doing that. So I really can't, I really can't, I'm not mad at them. Everybody can say what they want. Derek, 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 was that, was that, was that, was that, was that the worst, was that the worst, was, was, was that the worst case scenario for Devin in terms of just the continuous beating he took? Was it probably better than him just get knocked out early? I think it would be better than him to get knocked out because it's, it's going to be hard to recover from getting beat up like that. Will it change him forever, forever in the fight? He's a good fighter, man. He's a good fighter. I think that he'll be, he'll be back. I mean, he'll be back because he's really young. He's 25. Mm. He's not 33 or 40. Yeah. 25. Yeah. Okay. Does a beating like that? Does a beating like that take down desire? Can you tell us like where you are with that right now. I'm not talking about that. That's not the question I'm asking. Does a beating? Everything else we know, but not that. Does a does a does a beating like Devin Haney received tonight? Does that kind of mess with a guy's hunger uh, going forward? No, he still can be hungry, man. Cause he, he's he's he, yeah. Look like this. It's one thing to fight for yourself, but when you have your, your religion. Allah, you know, like Brian as Jesus, somebody as Buddha. It's like, that's more, that's, that's crazy. That's like more strength. You can fall off and jump back on because you're always going to see you whatever you believe in to give you strength and energy. You're going to jump back on it. What kind of conversations did you have with Brian about being the underdog with Devin Haney? How'd I never, you keep I, never I never, I never, I never talked about it. I never mentioned him. I never mentioned him. I, I'm like, he's mentioning Last question, guys, last question. About Emerson. Supreme focus. We had that. I didn't expect the unexpected, and you know, it was an amazing fight, full of drama. Uh, you, know, you have to give a huge amount of respect to Ryan Garcia because I thought he fought a great fight. It looked like a middleweight in there tonight. It, it did look really big, massive. And um, I thought Devin boxed really poor, but he got hurt in the first round. I don't know whether he, you know, how quickly he recovered, but then I had him winning like two. 
it's probably a controversial thing, and I guess I'm on Devin's side. I actually scored the fight a draw. You scored it a draw, really? I gave him the last round for it to be a draw. I don't think you could have ever given him the fight at all. But you know, I think if you were gonna, if, if you said you have to choose a winner, I pick Ryan Garcia. But I didn't. Away from the knockdown rounds, I didn't give him that many other rounds. People are gonna say it's sour great. It's just my opinion, honestly. I think Mannix and some of the zone guys had it the same. But take nothing away from Ryan Garcia. You know, I, I don't know whether he tricked the world or whether he is actually he a little me. bit out there. But <laughs> he, you know, he deserves all the credit and. Congratulations. You think those uh, three, three, three pounds overweight made a huge yeah, difference? Yeah, you could just tell. Yeah, I course. mean, he was just bigger guy. Of course, yeah, much bigger guy. And, um, you know, you, might, you have to make a decision, you know, Bill and Devin, if you want to continue with the fight. They chose to continue with the fight. And, um, you know, it was, a big, it was a big penalty to take in the ring, but take nothing away from Ryan. Looked very strong in there tonight. And like I said, I thought Devin boxed really poor tonight, and he, he knows that. Uh, what could have been done differently about the way, you know, coming in three pounds overweight, what could have been done differently? If, if, I mean, did you yeah. talk to him about no, it? I wasn't was... involved with it, you know, Bill, Bill and um, the lawyer dealt with it. Um, yeah, look, you know, hindsight, you can say that he, he could have reweighed today. Devin hydrates to huge numbers as well. But Ryan would have been, you know, you could see how much bigger he was in there in the ring, but, you know, it's... It's fish and chip paper. It's done now, so mm -hmm. you got to move on. I was a little bit surprised, you know, just Devin's performance, you know, going and after beating Cabosas twice, the Lomachenko fight, then having this performance. You feel like maybe uh, the game plan could have been different? Yeah, what could have been? It could have been. I do think he was poor. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, I thought he boxed really poor tonight, but I don't know if that was because he didn't really recover from the first round. You know, he got mm -hmm. buzzed heavy. Well, I say that, then he won the next probably four rounds after that. So mm -hmm. the three knockdowns were a killer, and the knockdown in the tenth round was was hard to come back from. Where does Haney go from this? I mean, what, rematch? Yeah, the, yeah, I think the rematch is huge, you know, but it's obviously it's up to Ryan Garcia. Um, you know, and I think uh, the 140 pound belt goes up in the air and it's going to be tough for him to take. You know, he's got to bounce back from this. You think Ryan's, you know, is going to continue looking, uh, not really put, let's just say, quote unquote, importance to the belts at the moment and just... Well, he's, a super, he's a superstar. Mm -hmm. You know, he's so out there, isn't he? I mean, like... And, and he's a real character and he's a great fighter. You know, it was a massive victory for him tonight, so congratulations. But piggyback, one last question, a piggyback of the questions they asked, you know, uh, uh, every time this happens, you know, the trainer and, and, and the fighter sometimes go separate ways. Mm -hmm. Could, would, would you suggest that or just go back to the drawing board or what would you say for this? I know Ben Davis was in the effort, Devin. Uh, no, you know, it's difficult to say. Devin's had a, the same team his whole career and, you know, he's, he's always, he's never lost before. So, of course, when you lose for the first time, you start lo looking for reasons why, rather than just saying congratulations yeah. to Ryan Garcia. You know, he was the better fighter. Yes, man. I thought Haney felt his power early and it yeah. definitely changed the game. Completely. But, man, I just, I mean, skill set. Skill set and talent, bro. It's like, I mean, it's a different, it's a different level out there now, bro. I didn't see a lot of that mastery. That mastery of the technique, bro. I, didn't see a lot of that, man. Well, you alluded to it. The first round changed a lot of things. Yeah, you did. He got, got caught with line up the straight. And get and, and you know what Garcia realized? Putting combination together picks the lock. He started throwing multiple punches and he opened it up. He dropped Haney, man, and it, and you showed it showed his power when he let his hands go. I think he learned a little bit today because the first couple rounds, he was one punch at a time. And I guess Derrick James must have told him, let them hands go, get busy. And, and you saw Haney just chasing him all night, never really knowing how to cut the ring off and never really getting that jab established. Only punch he had was the right hand rabbit punch. Come on, bruh. Where's the skill set? It's not there, bro. Did you agree with the score? You thought Ryan won? Man, I thought Ryan Garcia won going away. Going away. I thought he won going away. I thought David Haney needed a knockout after round eight. Round eight or seven. He needed a knockout. I mean, because that, that, the, the first round they took a point that had to be a 10-8, even with the point taken away. So I had Ryan ahead comfortably in this fight. Fight, crazy, fight, crazy fight but I huh. tell everybody and they don't listen they're stupid okay my son hits you you're done yeah man you're fucking done but they're stupid okay and that's what they get that's what everybody gets all the haters Paul Malinaji he's stupid dumbass you know um, 
fucking Porter, fucking, um, you know, all those, Al Jury, he's a piece of shit, you know? And even um, Timothy Bradley, they're all piece of shit. What'd you think of that judge that scored it a draw? It's fucked up. Yeah, right? It's fucked up. You know he's kicking his ass. Four was knockdowns? Four? Yeah. Jeez. And then, well, a draw? Get me the fuck out of here. So, but, it, it, hey, it, that ref was biased, too. It, it was a... That ref was biased. It was a... It was a wild lead up to the fight. Yeah. Is there any sense of relief having such a decisive win? Well, yeah. I mean, it's like you beat the dream. Everybody calling the dream pound for pound on the top two or top three. Fuck you and fuck you, um, uh, Eddie Hearns. Fuck you too, because you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, Eddie Hearns. Okay, for hating on my son. You're a piece of shit. Henry, how proud okay? are you? Okay, I'm performance? fucking very proud. And I can't stand the people that went against him. But you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad you fucking lost. I'm glad you fucking lost a lot of money. I'm so glad. You got to listen to me. I would tell people. I would text you. If my son hits that guy solid, he's either going to wobble or get dropped. Did I lie? You didn't. Don Fuck. Garcia. What were you? As he's totally focused, he'll drop down to 140. But honestly, he's 147. Mm. That's the truth. He's 147. Maybe even 154. 140 is might come around, but maybe not. Henry, Henry is this your proudest moment tonight as a whole boxing Absolutely, father, of course. All the fights? Well, yeah, because look at Ryan just lost once, and because he has stipulations, he was weaker than shit. Come on, think about it. You you meet Ryan when he's fucking. 100%? Well, I wouldn't say. We spoke after the fight in Vegas. There was the rib injury. There was the weight limit. There was the rehydration clause. This man's smart and right you there. you told me on that night that that wasn't your son this, in full form. This man was smart. Was, it, was, it, was, it, was this your son tonight in full form? I would say 95%. 95%. Mm -hmm. 95%. He was full form. But you know what? Derek James on what he's done for your son as well, too. Beautiful. Beautiful, because Derek and I, we're a great team. I know my son. I pass on some information to Derek. It's you. Derek uses his technique and wisdom on Ryan, and we got a full package. Henry, I mean, come on. And let's figure the ref. Come on. Did you see it level? Come on, man. Him and the ref were in on something, because that referee is a, is a piece of crap, man. Okay? He was biased. What about that point deduction? Yeah, exactly. You fucking knock somebody down. Oh, oh, oh haney has got to win. haney has got to win. So fuck it. Take a point off of you. What the fuck? I've never seen that only in TJ. You know, well, shit please. like that happens. I'm sorry. It's true. You, you can't be, you got to be straight in this world. And that's why I told Ryan, Ryan, he's fucking done. Hit that body. He can't fucking take by Everybody thought, oh, Haney come with the overhand. Fuck that. Haney's weakness is the body. Henry, did you see Eddie after the fight? Huh? Did you see Eddie Hearn after the fight? No, but when I do, I'm going to tell him he's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit, and I want you guys to know that shit. He's a piece of shit. Pauly Malinaji is worse than a piece of shit, okay? Timothy Bradley is another piece of shit, and Chris Algeri is a bigger shit. So they're all fucking shit. Henry, Man, I'm Henry, talking what, shit, aren't I? Henry, what did you make of people calling Ryan crazy in the build up of this fight? That's what they get. Ryan was trolling. I told people he's trolling. He wants to get to fucking Devin's head. Fucking, you know, it wasn't beer he drank. It was apple cider. But we fucked everybody up. We confused them. So they fucking pour their money on fucking Vegas. And fuck Vegas because they lost a lot of money. Henry, Henry. They lost a lot of fucking money. Tanks of bees. They'll fuck up Haney too on the body. That's his weakness. I'm sorry, guys. You can spread it out now. We know the key to success. We fucked him up in the amateurs with body shot. Mm -hmm. And then we went upstairs, and we went upstairs, he wobbled. We're like, bro, oh, you, know, you, 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 you fought him like when he was 17. Do you guys look 17? for a tank rematch even more now? Huh? Do you guys look for a tank rematch even more now? We'll see, right? Congrats on the win. Thank you, guys. You're Thank you, Henry. You're a shit, too, because I know you're a fucking handy fan. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit! I've been watching boxing since 1955. I covered boxing as a broadcaster from 1987 to 2018. I've had a focus on the sport for 70 years. I cannot at this moment remember a more electrifying, exciting, unexpectedly thrilling fight than what we saw tonight. And Devin Haney deserves mention because he was there. He's a terrific fighter. He was the favorite in the fight. I thought he was going to cruise to a win. This is all about Ryan Garcia. 
This is about a stunning, electrifying, off-the-board performance, which has suddenly made him the most galvanizing figure in boxing. I said all week that Ryan Garcia could change the fight with one left hook. He landed the left hook in the first round that changed the fight. And everything that happened after that was predicated off that one left hook in the first round that made it clear you don't know what you're going to see here tonight. This is theater of the unexpected. And there's a chance that Ryan Garcia is going to walk out of here with a victory because of his ability to throw this one overwhelmingly dominating punch. That's what happened. For you, where does Ryan go from here? Where does Devin go from here? The world wants a rematch. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, I think Ryan Garcia has earned the right to fight somebody else if he wants to before the rematch. But at some point, he's going to fight Devin Haney. And, you know, if Ryan Garcia was popular before, multiply it by five now. You just don't see this kind of thing. Ryan missed weight. He would have been champion. <laughs> yeah, but what did the weight have to do with what happened? How much, how much did the weight figure into his colossal power on those punches? Would he have been the same fighter if he were 3.2 pounds lighter the other day? We don't know. You know, maybe that was part of what happened. Uh, what's more important, being a champion with a title from a governing body in boxing or being the king of the world? Right now, he's the king of the world. What do you tell your brother in the corner? I was just trying to stay composed, but I don't have respect for this fuck. Did you know that it was going in like that? I knew he was going to beat his ass, but I thought I wanted the knockout, and he he think, almost had it. You think he deserved it in the seven? I know Harvey Dodge, you know, counts some yeah. and slips. He would have been three knockdowns. I, I, I don't know. I thought he saved his ass, but I mean. Sean, you were Devin got hard, though. I'm, uh, I'm going to fuck that hard. I have respect for Devin. Ryan has very amazing punches, and um, I knew that Devin, you know, we studied him, and he opens up a lot, and um, I knew that that hook was coming sooner or later, and when he dropped him, I just wanted Ryan to stay composed, say, you know, calm, but, you know, he did his shit. He had no respect for him. He didn't lay, lay off once, so that was, it was really good. I'm proud of Ryan. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, you ain't going to kill yourself, you know? You kill yourself to make weight? Come on. I bet if you, you can make it, you make it. If not, so be it. Pay the fine. Go home. Thank you guys for uh, coming. But first and foremost, I want to thank Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of the Lords. Um, all glory to Him. You know, this is why people need to stop believing everything on the internet and stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. You know, the last thing you should worry about as a kid acting crazy on the internet. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. You know, kids being hurt, nobody caring. Everybody looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy, it's a conspiracy, it's this, it's that. At the end of the day, that shit was real. And I, I out there put that, my reputation on the line, had everybody thinking I was crazy. At the end of the day, who's the crazy one now? You know, I, I didn't really want to say this, but it's the truth. You know, everybody needs to acknowledge, like, yo, I'm tripping. Y'all was tripping, not me. You guys were tripping. I was, in, I was the one that was actually with sanity. Because I'm like, yo, there's the hurting little kids, let's, let's help them. That's called being a real man. Because I don't give a fuck what people say about me. I walk through the fire and still held it down and still beat fucking Devin Haney and still drink every day and still beat him. And I still, I did everything. What the fuck? Hey, what, what happened? False reality, right? Every single night, went out on the first Monday and the Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> what happened? I won. Hey, not necessarily. Wait, wait, wait. Not necessarily am I proud of that, but I'm just saying this is. I, I, it was a statement to show you. You guys can't really fuck with me. That's right. I, I do whatever I want. That's cool. He did. He did uh, settle down on Sunday though. <laughs> Just imagine I don't know. if none of that happened, <laughs> and he stayed in camp for eight weeks. Oh, I didn't do that, but I just... I just, just imagine, team, use your imagination with y'all all had breakfast. Just imagine all the things he just said, and I'm going to keep up my shit, because this is out. And he would have just but been straight yeah. for eight weeks, it would have been a wrap. Yeah. But, like, I, I, I was just having fun, man. I, I'm just looking. I'm going through a lot, you know. I, got, I, I, I went through a divorce. Uh, I just, a lot of shit's been happening to me. You know, outside my life, um, <clears throat> that low-key kind of broke me. So, you know, I, I did what I felt I needed to do to feel okay. And so I kept it and I did whatever I wanted. And, 
Uh, I'm not proud of it at all. I just pray, you know, pray for my kids and hopefully they're okay. You know, Henry, Bella, Riley. I hope I made them proud. Um, you know, don't don't necessarily don't necessarily look at me like an example. Look at Jesus Christ because I'm, I'm far from perfect. That's what ran through your mind in the first knockdown because everybody from the beginning of the first bell to the twelfth, I kid you not, everybody was just on their feet. But what was running through your mind? Um, is this gonna be the moment I stop them? That's just all I was thinking. I shouldn't have put too much pressure on myself to stop them. Because every time I heard him, I just went crazy and I just couldn't finish. All right, thank you. But I, 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 I didn't think. Um, oh my God! Okay. Was his name Harvey Duff? Oh, I think he was tripping. He should have stopped that fight. Been it, the first it was time. bad. He, he, he was really hurt. Yeah, I, felt, I felt bad. I even looked at him. Like, you should stop this. It was a horrible rap. Yeah, I mean, the guy was holding me for dear life, and I felt an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free, and I cracked him, and then he took point away when I cracked him. But he held me, and then, like, I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that from me. I never seen some shit like that. He was holding me, and I just whack. I whacked him, and then he was hurt, and I was like, yes. Done and then oh point taken out. <laughs> he got wild with bad. I mean I, I'm surprised he has such good heart and like recovery. Bro, I cracked him that first row. I thought it was over. I was like, I want easy work. And then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. And I was like, damn, maybe you do got a little power. Man, you don't know half of the shit I've been through in my life. Like that shit was nothing. Like I've been through some crazy ass moments. This whole fight week is crazy. Like crazy, you have no clue. Y'all have no clue. Fucking no clue. Shit's not there. He'll come out one day. Yeah, and um, I got Oscar. Oscar, what do you I swear I had brown hair on Monday, and I got gray hair. Uh, that people don't give a shit about you. They'll just tell you. They'll just put shit on your fuck. So, you know, it's war at the end of the day, so I understood that um, I can't play around even negotiations. I can't let them win in anything because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I pretty much did that for the boxing community and the boxing fans to run that fight. Despite all the clauses, he told me not to, everybody and their mama told me not to. But I was like, fuck that, man. You guys are boring. Everybody's boring. I'm going to fight them. Win or lose, I'm going to run it. And I almost had his ass in the second. I was too weak. I, I knew I was gonna lose in the back room. I had no power. I had no power. I had no mind. I was dehydrated. It was really bad. I should I should have actually died coming that way. I should have I really but God protected me because I was blistering out of my mouth. I, I had no spit. It was like it was hurt. it hurt every day to make that weight. I shook. I was shaking in the bed, like shit was crazy. Derek is a is like a father figure uh, besides obviously my dad but he's like a father figure he always um he always uh pulls me aside and he done seen me cry before and he was like man you good <laughs> he's like don't worry about it he's like you're gonna get through this man you're gonna get through this he said you're gonna get through this you're gonna get through and you know, at the same time, I can, you know, I can comfort him, but at the same time, I'm gonna get on his ass too. too fast. We get on it, I get on it, I talk to you, I talk bad to him. So <laughs> fast. I'm so glad people that I'm gonna mention Polly Molly Naji, Timothy Bradley, Timothy Bradley, Chris Algeri, Steve Kim. Maybe Mario Lopez, maybe, <laughs> but they're all piece of shit. Okay. Oh shit! And I'm so glad That's you right. fucking lost. And Ryan proved them wrong. Right. Yeah, Timothy Bradley, suck my dick. Right. 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 Right.